Dexamethasone suppression test it measures the adrenal gland function by measuring how cortisol levels change in response to dexamethasone. And this test is done to confirm the diagnosis of Cushing syndrome, to understand the cause of Cushing syndrome, and to confirm if the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis is functioning normally. Dexamethasone is an exogenous steroid that provides a negative feedback to the pituitary gland, suppressing the secretion of ACTH by binding to glucocorticoid receptors in the anterior pituitary gland, therefore resulting in a regulatory modification. And the reference range for this serum cortisol is 1.8 micrograms per deciliter. There are two types of these dexamethasone suppression tests. We have a low-dose dexamethasone suppression test and a high-dose dexamethasone suppression test. We are going to look at these tests and how they are done and its interpretation. Low-dose dexamethasone suppression test suppresses cortisol levels. Whereas high dose exerts a negative feedback to the pituitary ACTH secretion by acting on the cells secreting ACTH and not the cells of the adrenal or ectopic production of ACTH. In low dose dexamethasone suppression test, you will administer 1 mg of dexamethasone at 11 to 12 pm midnight, then measure the serum cortisol levels in the morning at 8 am. Or you can do it in a standard 2-day dose of 0.5 mg, 6 hourly for 48 hours. Then you measure the serum cortisol 6 hours after the last dose. A positive result suggests true Cushing syndrome. And there can be a false positive result in case of oral contraceptive pills, drugs such as phenytoin, rifampicin and venobarbital together with carbamazepine. Or you can have a false negative in case of patients suffering from nephrotic syndrome using ritonavir, fluoxetine, and the ones with liver failure. In high dose dexamethasone suppression tests, you will administer 8 mg of dexamethasone orally between 11 pm and 12 midnight. Then you measure the serum cortisol levels at 8 am the next morning. Or you can do it again as a standard 2 day dose by giving 2 mg of dexamethasone orally every 6 hours for 48 hours and then you check the serum cortisol levels 6 hours after the last dose. In case of a Cushing disease, that is pituitary ACTH production, high dexamethasone is enough to suppress anterior pituitary production of this adrenocorticotrophic hormone. In cortisol secreting adrenal tumors, there will be very high cortisol levels and a low ACTH. In an ectopic ACTH production, such as a small cell lung carcinoma that is producing ACTH, there will be still high levels of ACTH and high cortisol levels. 